Take a trip with me to South Padre Island, Texas, and learn some money skills along the way. We better start by filling up with gas because this is a long drive. Help me figure out how much a gallon of gas costs. All right, let's figure out the price per gallon of the gas that I just bought. So we can also say price for each gallon that I bought. Okay, so we have some bills and coins. Can you count these up? Before you try, let's review the different types of coins. So I'm gonna just kind of randomly pick some. What is this called? Okay, awesome, quarter. And how much is it worth? Good job, 25 cents. Okay, how about this coin right here? Okay, awesome, it's a nickel. And how much is it worth? Awesome, five cents. Okay, let me move some of these. How about this one right here? It's the only one that's a different color. Okay, awesome, a penny. And how much is that worth? Good, one cent. And the last one, the smallest one, what is that called? Great, a dime. And how much is that worth? Awesome, 10 cents. Okay, now that we reviewed what each coin is, let's see if we can figure out the total of all of this money here. Why don't you pause the video and try to count it up? All right, now let's check your work. So I'm going to start with the dollars. I'm also going to move these down here with the other quarters. Okay, so how many dollars do we have? Great, we have two dollars. So I'm going to move these aside so I can show my work, or maybe I'll stack them up so you can still see. So I have two dollars, and I can write it like that, okay? And then I'm going to start with my coins that are worth the most. So let's check your work along with me. So I'm going to count these 25 cents. So I have 25. 50, 75. It's really helpful if you learn how to count quarters like that um, because then it can be quick to count them up. So I have 75 cents now. So I'm going to start just kind of keeping a running record of what I have. See, now I have $2.75. Okay, I'm going to move these aside. Okay, what should I do next? <clears throat> All right, let me go for the next biggest one. So 10 more cents. That's going to bump me up 10 more. I could be thinking like this, plus 10 cents. Is two dollars and 85 cents. All right, let me do the nickel next. If I'm at 85 cents and I have five more cents, how much do I have? Awesome, $2.90, okay? And then one more cent. You got it, $2.91. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, so now I have my gas tank filled up, but how can I resist coming in here for some of their snacks? Let's see. Okay, I got my favorite one. 
Now it's time to check out and see how much change I get back. Okay, here we have my change back from my purchase that I made. So can you count the bill and coins that makes up my change? Why don't you pause the video and give this one a shot? Then we'll come back and check your work together. All right, let's check your work. How many dollars do I have? Okay, just one dollar. So I'll write it down. Okay, then I'm going to get my money in a little bit of a better order here where it's largest to smallest. So here's my largest coin, my quarter. Then I've got two dimes and then two pennies. Okay, how much is this quarter worth? Great, it's 25 cents, so now I've got a dollar and 25 cents. Okay, now let's count up these tens. So I'm at 25, what's 10 more? Great, 35 and 10 more, 45. Okay, a dollar 45 and then I've got two pennies, so two more cents, so 46 and 47. All right, did you get the same answer as I did? Okay, great job. If you did, great job with your coin counting. If not, you might wanna rewind the video and review what all of the different coins represent and try my strategy. So I got $1.47 back at the register. Well, great job helping me with my road trip map. And here we are arriving at South Padre Island, Texas. Yay! Great work today. Keep practicing those money skills.